Hey people, it's me, Kira. So today I'm back on my camera and I'm filming a makeup collection 2018. I know I uploaded one earlier on in the year, but this is kind of like an updated one. I feel like my collection has like grown considerably <laughs> over the last few months and I just want to say I'm not bragging I'm not trying to show off any of my makeup I'm literally just showing you guys because I know I personally really enjoy watching these makeup collections uh, so yes let's get started so at the top of my Alex Nine Jaws, I have all of my brushes in these little like candle holders from Ikea. Uh, so in the far back one here on the left, I have the Oval Face brushes by Kiko and Revolution. In this middle one is all of my face brushes. Uh, I think they're literally all just real techniques. Yeah. Um, and then over here in the one on the right, I have all my eyeshadow brushes and my eyelash curlers. This one's from like Claire's, it's just a random cheap one. And then this one is I bought on TK Maxx, so I don't really know the brand and this brush that's full out. Um and yeah, so all my brushes in here are Royal Techniques, Morphe, and what brand is this? Studio. Starting on my top drawer, at the back I store all of my makeup in these little acrylic organisers, they're off of Amazon so they're really easy to get hold of. Um, so at the back are all my concealers, so I've got two of the Bourjois Healthy Mix just because they are brilliant. Um, I've got a Too Faced one this way and at the back I've got, very awkward to get, uh, maybe New York Fit Me. Um, next to this, on the right, I have all of my facial spray. So I've got the Smashbox Photo Finish Balls Primer, a little sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Setting Spray, uh, Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray. This is the Aloe one with the rose water. And last but not least, the very well known on my channel, Mac Fix Plus. And then over here, I'm really like impressed of the way I've actually kind of organised it. Like I had this random gap here, um, so I decided to put my powders. So I've got a press powder here, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte press powder, and then above that I have the Collection Chili's powder, and it just like fit perfectly there. So yeah, to the right I've got all of my primers. I've got two of the Stila One Step colour correcting primers um, because, as you can see, this one's almost done, and I got this one for Christmas. So this. One would be in uh, my previous makeup collection. And then I bought myself a new one because it's running out and I really love it. Uh, I also have Barry M Flawless Colour Correcting Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, this other Barry M, it's called Unicorn Primer Drops um, and they're great. And I've got a little sample of the Too Faced Hangover. Uh, and then a Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. And then along here I have all of my foundations. Uh, I like to have it laid out like this so I can kind of limit myself to the amount of foundations I buy. So I've got, at the moment, I've got two of the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter foundations um, because I bought two and but this one's almost run out. And I've got a Bare Pro foundation, the Huda Beauty foundation, Too Faced Born This Way, um, Build Your Price Healthy Mix and then a uh, Rimmel BB Cream. This drawer is actually really awkward to film because it goes all the way back and you may notice that all my drawers are actually laid out completely differently to all the rest. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so I've got four of the acrylic containers in this one. So I'm going to try and show you right at the back but it's really awkward for me to get to because I, these drawers do not come out far enough. Um, but it's actually my my liquid um, highlighters, so I've got the Master Strobing Liquid by Maybelline New York and a Bourjois one and I've got another uh, Masking Strobe one and I've also got the Liquid Chrome Highlight Drops by Barry M. To the left of that, kind of like not in a container, um, I've got my contour sticks um, so that is the 
Maybe the New York Master Contour. Uh, two of the, um, what are they called? What are they called? Primark Contour Sticks. I'm just going to get my camera to focus a sec. Um, and the Nudes Collection, the PS by PS. And these are really good. I also have the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour in the shade C14. It's really difficult to show you guys, and I think some of my makeup's leaked out. Onto this drawer, just in front of my liquid highlighters, I have a Too Faced blush in the colour. Uh, baby love a boudoir blush in number 34 and two blushes by Rimmel coming towards the front now I have my bronzers so I've got the uh, Maybelline New York Dream Sun two Benefit Huda bronzers um, this one I haven't used yet this one is the one that I'm using and a the Too Faced Milk Chocolate bronzer we all know I can't say that uh, and then highlighters are over here. I've got the Technic Get Gorgeous Highlighter, uh, the Strobe and Glow Highlighter Kit by MUA, a Bobbi Brown Highlighter, which is kind of like a more of a finishing powder. It's actually really cute. And I have another Bobbi Brown, again, more of a finishing highlighter. I've got um, a MAC highlighter in the colour Lightscape. Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in the shade of Sin. This is my all time favourite. I've actually hit pan, which is really sad, but it gives you guys such a nice glow. I love it. Favourite highlighter ever is the Becca Highlighter in the colour Moonstone. That's just great. This is what it looks like. It looks gorgeous, and then you swatch it, and it just gives you a gorgeous all time glow. And I just want to add quickly, underneath I've got these like padding things that was in my previous, previous storage. So yeah. To the left I've got my beauty blenders. So I've got Real Techniques little thing. I actually don't know what this is for. I tried it for foundation but it really didn't work. Then I've got Real Techniques beauty blender. I've got like, um, like uh, the original beauty blender. I've got two. I've got a pink one and then I've got a little black one and non-used in the little pot. And then I've got a small real techniques, real techniques, real techniques. This drawer is like my eye drawer. Uh, so at the oh, that was my watch. So this drawer is my eye drawer. So at the back left again, a completely different layout. Um, I actually take these out and just slide them forward because they actually go on top of each other. These little um, storage. So this is my eyeliner drawer. So I've got gold eyeliner. By collection, a silver one by collection. I've got an e.l.f. eyeliner and a Maybelline New York eyeliner, another Maybelline New York eyeliner, another e.l.f. eyeliner, uh, a sharpener, and like my eyeliner thing that came with a Maybelline New York one. To the right of that, I have kind of I like to call my loose eyeshadows in a way. Um, so I have four of the colour tattoo by Maybelline. Um, I've got gold, pink, and underneath I have a purple and a nude. And the pink is probably my favourite. It's actually really nice. Kind of like metallic, slightly holographic in a way. If you get the light shining right on it, it's really nice. And I've used it quite a bit. But these are actually getting really old now. Then I have two of these loose eyeshadows. Um... Well, loose pigments by this brand, which I'm not even going to try pronouncing. Um, and I've got them in the colours. Typical, they're upside down. This one is mauve pearl, and this one is in rose gold, and they're actually really nice. But they they look pretty similar in the packet, but when you look at the actual. Glitter, really and as you can tell, I've used that one a lot more. Two of these liquid eyeshadows by um, Collection, in the, I think it's like they're called their Glam Crystals Collection. And then I've got three little MAC ones. I've got this one in Copper Ring, and then I've got these two Selena Gomez collab. And this is my eyebrow um, uh, container. I literally just use this like all the time. It's the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade. It's my favourite. 
um, and to set them sometimes I would use the Bare Fit Gimme Brow um, but I also have a MAC Brow and Brow Set Gel the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 2 an ELF Eyelash and Eyebrow Setter as you can tell that's one of my eyebrow, it doesn't actually come brown um, that's just from like where I've gone over my eye colour and then this is the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit and again, as you can see in the middle, I've got some eyelashes and the duo glue. Then the last section, I have my mascaras. I actually have loads of mascaras, so I'm just going to go through these really quickly. So I've got some... This drawer here is my face palette drawer at the moment. Um, I, I do have a few boxes at the back here. None of this is like actual products. I just stuff that I really like the packaging of and I just don't want to get rid of it. Um, so I have Tanya Burr. I have a Cheeky Stories Benefit like travel set. And Stacey Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Revolution Sofax eyeshadow. Uh, um, not eyeshadows. Highlights, uh, Master Blush by Maybelline, and this little highlights by I Heart Revolution in rose gold. And these highlighters are actually amazing for drugstore. They're amazing. They're quite like powdery though, um, but they are pretty good. This is the last drawer of my um, Alex Nine drawers. Sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> um, so. The ones on the left here are my um, drugstore uh, lipsticks. So, again, I'll just quickly go through these. I have Soap and Glory one. I don't even know the shade of this. Right uh, is my high end one, so I've got four of these uh, Victoria Secret uh, matte liquid lipsticks. Um, so I've got them all, and yeah, I've got all four of them in the shades Perfection, Adored, Drama, and Obsessed. And these are actually really nice colours. I love this one; it's a really deep pink touching red colour. Uh, I've got a MAC lip gloss or lip glass in the shade Throw a Spare and this is beautiful. I've got two of these Too Faced Melted Matte liquid lipsticks in the shades Feeling Myself and Child Star. I think Child Star is like a really popular common one and that was really annoying me. Uh, I've got another Too Faced one as the Melted Metal in the shade Dream House and then I've got a Tarte one, a little lipstick in the shade Vibin. I've got a Bourjois Paris the lipstick in the shade Flamingo Rose. Uh, I've got five Maybelline New York's liquid, uh, not liquid, matte lipsticks, 883, 902, 418, 950, and 930. And then this is my MAC liquid, uh, why do I even say liquid lipsticks? MAC lipstick collection. So I've got three full size, a four minis, and then like a slightly different style one. So my three full size, I've got my Velvet Teddy and All I Want. All I Want is in this bold writing because it's actually this crazy gold colour. 
which is actually insane and I didn't even realise that existed. The four minis I got in a Christmas collection about two years ago I believe. So um, I'm going to try and hold them like this but it do doesn't seem to be focusing. So I've got Crumb Cup, Kinda Sexy, Well, and one that's upside down. Nouvelle Rouge maybe? I don't really know. I, I can't pronounce things. And then I've got this other MAC lipstick which is like a really fast packaging. It's actually really nice. And it's really struggling to focus right now. There we go. In the colour Pretty Me Up. And that's actually a really cute lipstick. It's more like like it's not like matte finish. And then at the back I got some I got a Kylie lip kit in the shade bubble. And I also have these a lipstick and a lip liner in sugar brown. I have to put the camera in my hand now because this is a very awkward draw to film. So this is my vanity. Um, and I store all my eyeshadow ooh, all my eyeshadow palettes in here. So I've got this Morphe 35OS palette which let's see if I can open it with one hand because it's beautiful it's all the shimmer shades as well so it's actually really pretty i've got a revolution palette mac the mac burgundy um palette i believe it's called burgundy burgundy times nine palette an mua palette here then a soap x extra spice revolution palette the anastasia beverly hills of glam which is new to my collection and i bought from sephora uh huda beauty desert dusk palette which is stunning. I absolutely love it. And the mirror in this is great. It's really big. It's just amazing. Naked 2 Basics. Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Too Faced Sweet Peach, 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 Sweet Peach Palette. Naked 3. Urban Decay. Naked Smoky. And naked heat. So, guys, that is it for my makeup collection 2018. My next one will be in 2019. I really hope you guys enjoy. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did, and please hit the big subscribe button, which I'm gonna point at. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.